We had heard about Owl's Head for quite some time, but never had the chance to visit. Until now, arriving there you immediately sense the history. This is the rare mountain that still has that hard to explain intangible. This on, you'll go down. You go up on top. You immediately see the kids, the next generation of skiers and riders that we will meet at every stop on this trip. In Quebec, everyone plays. What's unique about the Eastern Townships is we've got the third, fourth, and fifth highest vertical drops in Eastern Canada, so in Quebec. What's also unique about the Eastern Townships is that we've got three mountains, which you can see Orford in the background, Sutton is on the other side of the mountain here, all within about 30 miles of each other. So it's a 30 minute, 40 minute drive between mountains. You can settle into one place like Magog, and visit all three mountains. When there's a lot of snow, it's absolutely just a scream. I take the kids down through there and everything like that. Last week, they, the kids were skiing through there and having yeah. a great time. Wow. Yeah. But it's, awesome. it's steep. Big air? No way. Eh? If you look down the lake here, there's an island called Province Island, which is on Lake Van from Magog, and that is where the, there's a cut going through the island. The taps in Vermont, half is in Canada. Else, it's really on the fringe here. We're, uh, as you can see, in a blue, beautiful area. It's really country here. Uh, Else is a really uh, family-focused mountain. Uh, as you saw before, the young kids, we start them early here, and you know what, they come back and we'll probably see those two little girls, children here, in 25 years. So that's, and it's, it's just a constant cycle. Uh, you can allow your kids to ski free here and not worry about it at all, which is great. the handicapped ski program and it was started here in Quebec. So we do uh, special days for all the veterans, Canadian veterans. Um, I've got a cousin that did it. He was confined to a wheelchair all his life and it was said it was the most liberating thing he's ever done. It made him feel so good and he enjoyed it so much. It was incredible. Last three years, the owners here really invested, I think, over like 25, 30 million dollars. The snowmaking system's been completely redone, all new mountain equipment, so snow cats and things like that. The improvements are uh, out of this world. I'm a person that's been here for over 55 years, so I've skied just about everywhere across North America. Uh, Owl's Head's my home, and I keep on coming back, and I'm happy that we're so lucky to have such a beautiful mountain here. Quebec is known for the legendary apparel and spas. At Spa Bolton, they combine the art of body therapy with nature, and it all comes together in an invigorating process of heat and cold. 
this is a great experience for an after ski. Um, the thermal experience is very uh, good to relax. Um, so after a nice ski and, and an outside actually day, this is awesome. A massage, you can either have it or through a 60 or 120 massage. It will really help to uh, release all the tensions that we have in the body, uh, mostly after a ski session. There's three steps actually to the thermal experience. So the first one is the, the hot, and then the cold, and then the relaxation. Uh, you will use like a sauna or a steam room, and then you will um, do the cold one. So the cold step, you will uh, actually go into a cold tub, or you can either use um, the river, mostly during the winter time. So this is an awesome experience because it's very colder than the uh, usual uh, cold tub. You wait, will eat. Wait a minute. Yeah, sure. The river. No way. <laughs> For sure. This is this is awesome. Quebec, we're lucky. It's, we've got the French culture here, and not just French, but it's a mishmash of many different nationalities. So we're very lucky to have such diversified culture here in Quebec, and the people really get along quite well. Everybody speaks English. <laughs> Owl's Head and Spa Bolton in the eastern townships of Quebec. This time, on the Mountain Report.